Welcome to Mama Cat's home. Today I'm going to give you a peek of what our pantry and freezers look like after January. Today is February 2nd actually, but this is what they look like. I have come in here and I did a little bit of organizing, but my plan is once I get it purged down to the way I want it to be, like um, me and my husband are figuring out how many cans of what we want and how many, you know, whatever like that. Once I get it down to where we can actually come in here and organize it the way we want, unless we change our mind before then, then um, I'm going to take everything out and organize it. And I'll probably bring you guys along with me when I do that. I don't know yet. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of start up here. This up here has not really changed that stuff, I don't, it just hasn't changed at all, really. I, I mean, I don't know how to even explain it. But in this stuff, the baking stuff, it really hasn't changed either, other than we used some cake mixes. We didn't use many. And the reason why is because we just haven't been in the mood for cake. And we have like chocolate brownies. No, this is cake. No, that's brownie mix, sorry. And then this cake mix, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not out of date. It's just, we have a lot of it um this is dehydrated milk and then these are some chocolate covered almonds really need to get those eaten but just nobody's eating them um and then this is like different things like jello and stuff like that it's all in there um and then our cocoa and all and then this is the um chocolate chips and we have a lot of like the caramel things i got a really you know really good deals on stuff so i got them and that's baking stuff up there a lot of that stuff we just have not gotten rid of really uh we've dwindled or what is that whittled i don't know the crackers and things like that we have eaten through some of those some of the chips we've eaten through we have not bought any more chips except i did buy a pack of pork rinds the spices are going to be the same all the time because, but we want to i don't actually need two things of this himalayan sea salt but I got it such a good deal. <laughs> I got it. But salt lasts for, you know, there's there's no fear of that going bad. So that's okay. Um, then we have the, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we do have a lot of the cream. Like, I had two flats of the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom from Aldi. And we have come down to now we have one flat left and then we have these right here. And then we still have two things of the pink salmon. I'm planning on doing a video on those salmon burgers. Um, hopefully it, I will have it out next week for you guys because I'm planning on cooking those this week. Um, we've gone down to now we only have two rows of the mixed vegetables. Well, no, two full rows and this. What we want to do is only have two rows of mixed vegetables. And then we're down to like, I think this is five cans of these potatoes, which is really great. I actually, my goal is to have only eight cans of those potatoes, four cans of carrots because we really don't eat those a lot. And we've gotten down to the goal with that. Um, these, um, I have, let's see how many cans do I have here? One, two, three, ten cans. And that is plenty. I don't use tomato paste a lot, but... I do use it sometimes and our goal is to have three rows of tomatoes because we use tomatoes quite a bit and we're doing good on that i'm not buying any more yet though because i'm thinking i'll just want to do two rows i think that'll be plenty that'll be eight cans of tomatoes i think that's enough so i'm thinking that it'll just be that we haven't figured it out quite yet i'm thinking two rows of each kind um this stuff i do not want in my house anymore i will well i'll put it this way after this is used, I will not be buying it anymore because I was told by someone that it did not have MSG in it. Um, monoso I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Monosodium glutamate is the fourth ingredient. So, that and the beef one we are not going to have in our house anymore. So, that's a thing. Uh, we have one beef broth left, which is fine. That's not an overkill for that at all. We actually like to have three of those on hand. And this is, uh, it has no MSG or anything in it. But I want to try that um, better than bouillon. It's like a paste or whatever. You get it from like Costco and stuff. So, I want to do that instead of these types of things because it's smaller. It takes up less space. But... I kind of still want to have these on hand, but I don't want any more than maybe six of these and three of the beef 
on hand, which I don't even have that right now. So that's cool. Um, we only have two packs of these little rice sides left. Now, they don't have MSG or anything like that in them, so I don't really have a problem with using these. But we're trying to cut down on rice and stuff, and you will see. I'm going to show you how much rice we actually have. You'll see that we don't really need these little things like this. Other than like quick meals, but we don't really need these. Um, but we do have two, and that's not bad. I don't think that's bad for a family of four to have two of those on hand. Two things of this macaroni and cheese on hand, which we rarely ever eat that. And we have one of this Zatarans. All right, we have three cans of the baked beans left. I don't think that's bad at all. I feel like a family of four needs something like that, which we are trying to cut down on sugar and stuff, which, like I told you guys, we are going lower carb, but we're not cutting out carbs. We're not going keto. We're not going Trim Healthy Mama. We're just watching what we're eating, eating more green vegetables. And um, I actually talked to my doctor about it, and he said he does not want me to go on a keto diet or something like that because I have found a doctor. He seems pretty awesome. All right. So anyways, we only have... Let's see, there's four or five cans of these green chilies left. So I could actually stack that up there. I'm going to try to figure out another place to put those, though, because they're smaller cans, and I don't need to take up a whole row with those. I hope you guys can see. I know it's dark in here. And these right here, I actually have one and like a half of a row of these. There's like probably 12 cans of these. We don't need 12 cans. We're going to just try to have eight on hand, but... Um, that's okay because these enchilada sauce, we have one, two, three, four. How many of those do we have on hand? All this stuff is dusty. Oh, no, we don't have as many of those tomato, uh, like, these are like Rotel. We don't have as many as I thought. So we only have ten cans of those, and we have two, um, three, four, six of these. I don't think that's bad because one of my recipes, I need at least two to three of those to make that. Anyway, to make the enchiladas that I make. So, I don't think that's bad. Black beans, I want to have no more than, um, uh, like, how many did I say? I can't remember what we said. I think it was eight to ten cans because we love black beans, but... We are going to try to start doing just dry beans because we have the kasori and stuff. So, honestly, I think one row of the maybe eight cans of these for, like, super quick meals would be fine for our family. So, I'm thinking eight cans will be my limit after I get these down. And then the refried beans, I can make my own refried beans. I have a video on my channel. But sometimes it's so easy to have these and it's just so much better. So, these right here, I want to have no more than six to eight cans, but right now we have seven, and that's cool. These are mixed fruit and different fruits and stuff. We don't have a lot of fruits in here. These are beets my son wanted, but he hasn't tried them yet. I don't think there's a problem here with this situation because those get eaten. Um, I've already shown you that part. Okay, now down here we have chili beans, which I would like to move up to one of these, like maybe right beside the black beans and stuff, but... It hasn't happened yet. We have one can of corned beef hash. I want to have like eight cans of this on hand at a time because we use like two of these and two of the black beans or maybe three of these and three of the black beans to make the chili. So that's how that goes. We have one thing of corned beef hash. I'm the only one in the house that eats it and it's a rather small can um, and I can eat that sometime. I need to eat it because I just don't hardly ever eat it. Olives, we actually recently bought these because we needed them because we were out of olives. And then... <laughs> My friend brought me some that one of her friends actually made, but we haven't broke into those yet. I'll show you those in a minute. We have two cans of garbanzo beans. We have two, four, six, no, sorry, three, six, nine, twelve of these tiny cans of the um, tuna. I don't think that's a bad for a family of four to have an extra little stockpile. We have four of the carnation evaporated milk. That's not too bad for a family of four. I don't feel like I probably can move them around some now. And it'll be more like that. And then I have four of the condensed milk. I don't think that's bad either. All right, this is our um, mushrooms. Now, I use two cans of this at a time whenever I do use them. But I don't need, I don't know how many cans are here. I don't need this many. So I'm thinking I want to keep no more. And I want to move them up here somewhere if I can. Maybe I can move them somewhere like with these or something. I don't know yet. But anyways, 
I know I don't need a whole flat when I buy them. So I've got to figure out how many of those I want to keep on hand. All right, down here is just condiments and peanut butter and stuff. And we have peanut butter over here and over there for some reason. But this is like the powdered peanut butter. I don't know why it's like that, but I'll figure that out too. Anyway, we have two things of peanut butter. We have some uh, pepperoncinis and those olives that I told you about my friend gave me. Some salsa. We love salsa and taco sauce. And we just have a lot of that. We got two little things of pimentos. That's not bad. We got one thing of this steak sauce and then some barbecue sauce. And this is pepper, uh, pepper sauce, different types um, of pepper sauce. I'm sorry, that's loud. None of them have been opened, but they're all still in date. And Goku Chang, that's not bad. I don't think for a family to have different types of sauces and stuff. And then this is like apple butter. Honey, honey does not go bad, so that's cool. Jelly that I made and some stuff to make some more jelly. And these kind bars, I don't know why they're right there, but that's really the only place I had to store them when I put them there, and I haven't moved them yet. Um, this is where we have oil and apple cider vinegar and two things of spaghetti sauce and this soup that I had gotten for like 50 cent a can we have not eaten all of that but we're going to eat that and then like olive oil and I don't know why those are there they're supposed to be in one of these little drawers that my husband built me then our vinegar for cooking one long pack of ramen <laughs> actually I can put that with this ramen you'll see that stuff in a minute um, a few potatoes left which we keep potatoes on hand like I said we're not going no carb one onion I'm gonna go grocery shopping Tuesday and then this is the other flat of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken that I okay my camera kind of shut off <laughs> this is mixed rice it's got brown rice basmati rice and stuff like that we have a lot of rice here and then more white rice that is vacuum sealed that one's not why is there so much see how disorganized this is you guys that watch me think I'm organized but I'm not more brown white rice and this is quinoa I'm going to probably um try to figure out a way to make this more concise I don't know we'll see um now this right here you can get this from a store it's called Sunday dinner it's a little pack of mayonnaise my husband takes these to work little packets and um yeah so that happens these are our dried beans I need to find out a different way to do this we um let's see i'm gonna try to move some stuff so i can show you what's in here there's uh black beans and all this is dusty oh it's uh, me being in here is making me annoyed because it is so dusty uh kidney beans pinto beans black eyed peas and we have more black eyed peas right here one more pack and then we have lima beans uh the like green ones some other baby limas navy beans which no, I don't have any more navy beans. These are great northern beans. Uh, and lentils. And then this is the 15 bean soup. I do not use the little packet, the little ham packet in here. I don't ever use that. I throw it away because it's full of all kind of stuff I don't want. I make up my own stuff. This is a mess. Here, let me do this. This is not good. See, I need to reorganize. Okay. And then that's just some sweet, uh, some applesauce and different other things down there. I don't know what else down there, actually. I'm getting to where I can see things. Now, this down here is like garbage bags and animal stuff in our food slicer. And then there's the dog food, which, see, it's so dusty. And then the animal, the dog's treats. Okay, now this right here, we have done better with this. I don't know if you guys can tell, which this is uh, still going on the wall. It still has not gone on the wall yet. I don't know if you guys remember my other video, but this was packed. I mean, this was jam packed with cereal and stuff like that. I have not bought one thing of cereal and we still have so much. It's all still in date. It's all still good. But yeah. All right. These are multigrain crackers. We just don't have anywhere to put them up there. Oatmeal is back there. And then this is cereal. Um, and there's crackers here because I don't have room. And then those cup of noodles, popcorn, Pop-Tarts, and empty, <laughs> and Kool-Aid. Okay, and then this is still the same. We haven't changed this. And then we put a lot of the little things that were on top of there, we put them in here um, where they belong. And we actually have an empty spot. I would like to empty this thing out completely and take it off the wall and wash it, but I don't know. <sighs> If I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Anyway, that's still full because we have been emptying the big boxes. 
and putting them in. So this is better. Still not what I want. I want to purge down to a sensible amount for a family of four. Plain and simple, that's what I need to do. All right, so I'm going to go on. There's some fresh fruits, fresh fruits and stuff. That doesn't even count as part of the pantry purge because fresh fruits and vegetables are always bought. Okay, now, we did buy some meat this month, but only one time. And the reason why is because we were out of chicken completely, and it was $0.29 cent a pound for leg quarters. That's all I got to say about that. All right, I don't remember if you guys, um, I don't know if you guys remember how full this all was, but do you see the difference? I see the difference. I don't know if you guys do. These can go up there. I may have those for a snack later. I mean, like lunch later because it's pizza rolls. All right, and this is something I'm going to be cooking tonight. I need to go ahead and take that out of the freezer. It's um, different vegetables that I'm going to put in. I'm going to roast. So I'm going to take that out of the freezer so I can cook it. Um, this is still that lemon pound cake. We are not wanting this stuff. I don't know. We just don't want the carbs, I guess. I don't know what it is. We're trying to change our mindset. But this is still the fruit, and then this is carrots. This is all carrots on this side because I got a huge bag of carrots, and I just put some away. This is pumpkin, and this back here is, I can't remember. What is this? Oh, dear. What is you? What are you? can't speak English what are you what are you plums that's what that is that I need to make jelly out of and these are apricots that I need to make jelly out of has anybody ever had pumpkin apricot jelly maybe I'll do that all right now this drawer um, we have not added to it all um, but we have taken away from this is all barbecue pork except am I even showing you guys this is barbecue pork except this is potatoes and I think there's one pack that has no, no, that's just pork. It has no seasoning. Okay, come on, stay open. This is tilapia. We need to eat that. But that's not a big deal to have a pack of tilapia. Tacos that are freezer tacos. Uh, cauliflower fries. These are really good. They are really good. And then that pack of cauliflower I haven't done yet. Oh, we did add to this. I'm sorry, I forgot. We had, um, where I did a recipe and what we ate for dinner, I showed you guys. This is some of that pork taco meat. We have two packs of that. Whenever it was put in the freezer, it was put in here really weird. But now, it's better than it was. This is kind of like my quick meal spot. That's what that is. Okay, now this is all the meat we have left. This is popcorn chicken. That goes up there with the fast stuff. Um, this is turkey, and that is more barbecue pork. Why are you not in here? I'll stick it right there. Okay, this is... Uh, scuppernong juice to make some jelly. I don't know why it's down here. It doesn't belong with the meat. This is the um, chicken we bought. Leg quarters that were 29 cents a pound. We got 20 pounds for like six bucks. So yeah, not gonna be, I think it was yeah, it was like 20 pounds for six bucks. All right, so that's the chicken we have left. So that's meat we have left. And then we have one pack of ground beef, no, two packs of ground beef, um, one pack of like beef strips, and one steak left. That's all the meat we have left in this freezer. We do have three packs of pork chops in the other freezer. Uh, we have one of these pizzas, and then we have some pumpkin that I had processed. That's all pumpkin for making pies and stuff. We still have these shredded all uh, the hash browns we still have a bunch of the um tater tots because we haven't eaten those this pack of stuff uh, the breadsticks we still have not eaten and this is ham okay we've gone through a lot of this stuff this is where i put like freezer meals that i make like quick meals this is sausage biscuits um and then there's ham biscuit one pack of hot dogs left this is turkey that i've cooked i don't know why it's down there I'll put it up there so I can get that. I don't know why this salmon is down here either, but whatever, that's okay. It's, this is where the sausage and those little quick meals are supposed to go. Let me move this up here. I don't know. I may be making a bigger mess. Um, anyway, this is loud and I'm sorry. This is sausage biscuits. This is taco meat for my daughter. Um, this is steak like I cooked on the grill. And that's what we do is we put it for sandwiches, uh, not sand, well, sandwiches too, but for like salads and stuff. We have one pack of these Chipotle grill mates, some sausages that I made, breakfast sausage. That's not bad to have that much breakfast sausage. Um, this little pack of turkey sausages, we're trying to get rid of those. Those are not good. 
um, a pack of turkey meat for like what I do with it after I freeze it like this is sandwich meat but what I do is I just cut it up and put it in like a omelet or something all right one pack of bacon and then one pack of just sausage and then this is summer sausage over here is about the same as beans and stuff like that that has not really changed still have not gone through all these things because we just haven't wanted them we just haven't wanted them all right let me move this around get this chair out of the way i'm gonna take this to the kitchen please ignore my kitchen it is a mess because i need to do dishes um this freezer we okay y'all remember if you watched there was a lot of bread in here we did not eat all the bread there was nothing wrong with it but we just didn't want it so we gave it to our chickens a lot of it we ate some of it but we didn't eat all of it this is a pack of biscuits still this is like some fresh powder peas and then other little fresh vegetables and this is um corn nuggets that i forgot we had Ooh, that would be so good this is garlic frozen and we've got some just vegetables in there this pack and then these breads and then we have some waffles and pancakes that i made and i froze in here and we've got some like let me see if i can get it out of there it's probably so dark you probably can't see sorghum flour and stuff like that in there freeze your I mean, keep your stuff like that in the freezer it's really good for keeping it fresh and this is still the messy refrigerator <laughs> it hasn't changed because this is where we put our fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff like that and you know our cheese our cheese drawer has gone down though <laughs> and then this is this stuff now this refrigerator is a wreck <laughs> the light went out don't know why this is some camp stew that i took out to that i had cooked and uh took it out to thaw <laughs> still not thawed yet and then leftovers pretty much there's nothing else in here um it's just that and then this is the same so i'm going to take you to the other freezer so i don't know if you guys remember this room or this freezer or not it's got a lot of the freezer stuff on this but it's been good it's just i don't know anyway we got let's see no i was wrong we have more than three we have two no we have three packs of pork chops left one pack of sausage and then there's some ham down there and some deer meat and we have not touched this chi um that's not chicken this fish and um really this freezer has not changed much other than well it's gone down i really want to get everything out of this one and clean it up and maybe put it on my back porch because i don't want it in the house it's in the front room when you first walk in like and i showed you guys this is the room with all the exercise equipment and all that but anyway, that is what my pantry and refrigerator and everything, look at that. That thing is awesome. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go back to the pantry because I don't want you to show you me today because my hair's a wreck. Um, <laughs> it's just easier. But anyways, uh, that is what it looks like. And it's better. Not what I want. I have been trying to purge this for three months, guys. Three months. And I'm on my fourth one. I'm doing it again. I am not going to be buying canned vegetables and fruits. I am, unless we start running out, I won't, you will not see me buy. You won't see me buy any of this stuff. You definitely will not see me buy any cream of anything. And honestly, a lot of, like the name brand cream of chicken and cream of mushroom has MSG in it, y'all. This kind does not. Just saying. Aldi does not. So anyway, and another thing I'm watching, uh, like this has carrots, water, salt, calcium chloride, which is calcium. Um, this has water, carrots, potatoes, peas, corn, green beans, celery, lima beans, salt, calcium chloride, and onion flavoring. Uh, potato, let's see, I already looked at those. No, I didn't. I don't know. Tomatoes, the ingredients. Look at the ingredients, y'all. That just... I'm cut, trying to cut out some of these chemicals they're feeding us. So, I came in here now and I see all this dust and I really want to clean it completely out. But I can't do it by myself. I will hurt my back worse. Oh, and we do have still some of these. We have not bought any more, but we do still have some of those because we've only eaten them once. I buy these for whenever my niece and nephews come, but yeah. That's what it looks like. I want to thank you guys for watching and putting up all of my crazy. And I hope that 
this helps you understand the craziness of how much stuff I do have. I have actually think I figured out, well, I haven't figured out the root cause, but I figured out I have a problem. I have a very big problem with groceries. If I see it on sale, I grab it. If I see my pantry's getting lower than I like, like right now, I'm freaking out inside, but I'm not buying anything because I've made up my mind. I have figured out I have a serious problem with buying food. Not that I eat it all the time, but I have this thing like that my family's not going to have enough or they're not going to have what they want or they're not going to do, you know, something. I don't know. Maybe it's some sort of mental thing. Maybe it's part of my anxiety. Maybe it's part of, and I know it's not part of depression, but it maybe it's part of my anxiety. Maybe that's why I do this. Maybe that's why I have tons of food that I don't need that I beat myself up about. Whole different thing. Maybe I'll do a video about that one day. All the things I beat myself up about that makes no sense, not even to me, and I know it doesn't make sense to other people. If you guys would like to see a video of me talking about that, let me know in the comments below because I know I'm not the only one who worries about things that they shouldn't. And I know as a Christian, we should not worry, but the Bible does not actually say that you don't, that it's a sin to worry. It says to give your cares to Him. Anyway, not trying to do a sermon. Just saying, I've got a problem. I figured out that I have a problem. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying trying to do better. I'm trying to remedy it and make my, our lives better and not spend money on things that we don't really need. <sighs> this is a crazy video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'm so happy you are with me. I am so happy that it... Um, I have a lot of new subscribers, and I want to welcome you guys. I'm just so happy that people find me interesting because I don't seem to make myself feel, I don't feel I'm interesting. Anyway, let me just go. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't take any wooden nickels, and be sweet.